Hi, and welcome to today's lesson, Dividing Fractions and Mixed Numbers. Let's look at this problem, 5 6 divided by 2 thirds. In a previous lesson, we talked about how the first number in a division problem is representing what I have, and the second number, and the first number is our dividend, the second number, our divisor, is representing how many groups of. So in this problem, I'm asking how many groups of 2 thirds are in 5 6 First, I'll start out by finding what our reciprocal of our divisor is. And remember, all a reciprocal is, is when I move my numerator to the denominator position and my denominator to the numerator position. So the reciprocal of 2 thirds is simply going to be 3 halves. Now that I have my reciprocal, I'm going to be multiplying by the reciprocal. So in a dividing fraction problem, the two big steps are to find the reciprocal of the divisor and then multiply by that reciprocal. So here I have 5 6 times 3 halves, which was my reciprocal, and I'm ready to multiply straight across. This is how we will always divide fractions. So for my numerator, I have 5 times 3, and my denominator, I have 6 times 2. In a previous lesson, with multiplying fractions, we learned about cross canceling. If I look across diagonal and I see any factors that are in common, I can divide them out. This allows me to have a simplified answer at the end. So I don't have any common factors between 5 and 2. Between 6 and 3, I could cross 3 out, and 3 divided by 3 is 1, and I could also divide 6 by 3. So 6 divided by 3 is 2. So for my new numerator, I have 5, because 5 times 1 is 5, and then 2 times 2 is 4, so my new denominator is going to be 4. Whenever I am working with fractions and mixed numbers, I want to make sure that my answer is a mixed number instead of an improper fraction. So I know that there is one group of 4 inside 5 with 1 left over, so my answer is 1 and a fourth. Let's take a look at another example. So remember, our two main steps for dividing fractions are going to be to find the reciprocal of the divisor and then multiply by that reciprocal. So here I have how many one-halves are inside six-sevenths. So I'm going to find the reciprocal of one-half, which gives me two over one. Now, typically you can express two over one as just two, but for our purposes, we're going to leave it as two over one. Now let's multiply by a reciprocal. So this number never changes because that's how much I started with. So I'm going to rewrite 6 sevenths and I'm going to multiply it by 2 over 1. This time my numerator becomes 6 times 2 and my denominator is 7 times 1. I don't see any common factors when I look across or above. So I'm simply going to multiply straight across. 6 times 2 is 12 and 7 times 1 is 7. And when I write this as a mixed number, I have one group of 7 inside 12, so that's 1 with 5 leftovers. So 1 and 5 7 is my answer. Now let's look at some problems with mixed numbers. Here I have 6 and 1 fourth divided by 1 and 1 eighth. It's important to note that you will never divide mixed numbers. The same as how you can never divide I'm sorry, never multiply mixed numbers. So whenever I see a mixed number and I'm trying to multiply or divide, I will need to change it to an improper fraction first. So for this problem, or for the dividend, I have six times four is 24 plus one is 25. So six and one fourth is really 25 fourths. For my divisor, I have one and one eighth. Eight times one is eight plus one is nine. So I really have nine eighths. Now in our division problem, we're going to do the same as we did with the last two examples where I'm going to find the reciprocal of that divisor, 9 eighths, and I end up with 8 ninths, and now I'm ready to multiply by the reciprocal. So I have my 25 fourths, which doesn't change because that is our dividend, what I have, and I'm going to multiply it by 8 over 9, and I end up with 25 over 8 as my new numerator, and 4 times 9 as my new denominator. Now I'm looking for common factors. 
So I noticed that 25 and 9 do not have anything in common, but 8 and 4 do. So they have a 4 in common. So 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 4 divided by 4 is 1. 25 times 2 will give me 50, and 1 times 9 will give me 9. So I have uh, 5 sets of 9 sitting inside 50. So that's going to give me 5 holes and then 5 leftovers, so 5 and 5 ninths. For our last example, we have 5 divided by 2 and 2 fifths. So this time I'm going to rewrite 5 as 5 over 1. And then 5 times 2 is 10 plus 2 is 12, so I have 12 fifths. I will find my reciprocal of my divisor, which is my 12 fifths. So that's going to turn into 5 twelfths, and now I'm ready to multiply. So 5 over 1 times 5 over 12 gives me 5 times 5 over 1 times 12, which is 25 over 12. And when I write that as a mixed number, I get 2 and 1 twelfth. Let's recap. For dividing fractions, convert any mixed numbers to improper fractions. Find the reciprocal of the divisor, or the second number, and multiply the dividend by that reciprocal. That wraps up our lesson. Thanks so much for tuning in. Feel free to click to subscribe for this and other lessons. Until next time!